Hi everyone, my name is Chip Cohen, and I'm going to present Not a Coincidence, a subquadratic asynchronous Byzantine agreement with high probability. I'm a student at the Technion, and this is a joint work with my advisor, Professor Edith Kedar, and Alexander Spiegelman from Novi. I'll start off with a bit motivation. Byzantine agreement is widely used in many large scale systems, such as Libra, Algorand, and Hyperledger, and it motivates both asynchrony and low communication complexity. Due to FLP, and the 11 right shift lower bound, we have to settle on randomized algorithm in order to achieve these two properties. A contribution we make, we present the first subquadratic asynchronous, asynchronous Byzantine agreement algorithm with high probability. It achieves O tilde of n word complexity and a constant expected time. And we, we guarantee safety and liveness with high probability. So I'll uh, describe the model briefly. We assume n processes in permission settings, where up to almost a third of the processes may be Byzantine. We assume a synchronous model and a trusted PKI, and we assume a delay adaptive adversary. And our adversary can use the content of a message m to schedule another message m tag only if m causally precedes m tag. So a main tool we are using is Verifiable Random Function, or VRF, which is a pseudo-random function that provides a proof of its correct computation. You can think about it as if someone picks a note with a number on it and a proof that this is indeed the number it got, and it cannot pick any other number. And we want to create a shared coin. So a shared coin is a procedure executed by all correct processes that output the same bits to all of them with some positive probability. And this probability is denoted by rho. So effectively what we are trying to do is we want to take this local randomness achieved by the VRF and create a, a shared randomness in the form of a shared cone. Okay, so how do we do it? So what we do is each process pick a random number using a VRF and send it to all other uh, processes. Then each process waits for n minus f messages and pick the minimum it heard of and send this minimum to all other processes in the, phase, in the second phase. Once again, everybody is waiting for n minus f messages and once I receive n minus f messages, I pick the minimum value I heard of and return the least significant bit of the minimum value. So why does it work? So we denote by a common value, a value that reaches f plus one correct processes in the first phase and prove that each, each common value reaches all correct processes in the second phase. Then what we prove is that we have an omega of epsilon bound on the number of common values. And in addition, our delay adversary cannot predict which of the values will be common, and when he commits on the order, they arrive at, at the processes. So in total, what we achieve is that with a, some positive constant bound, the global minimum itself becomes common and then reaches all correct processes. The problem is that we used, as we said, two rounds of all 12 communication, which result in the quadratic word complexity. So how do we fix that in take two? We do almost the same, except for that now every step, step is being executed by a committee of processes. The committee size is or, order of log n, and uh, the election for a committee is done locally using a VRF computation. So for example, in the first step, the purple processes are being elected, and they behave as they would in, the, in take one, and processes that aren't elected doesn't do anything until the next step. We want to avoid Byzantine processes that aren't elected to the committee to affect the result, but this is okay because the Byzantine processes that aren't elected can provide proof of their election. This results in work complexity of n log n, but we encounter a problem, which is how many processes do we wait for before moving on to the next step? In take one, we waited to n minus f processes, which was reasonable. But now we, we cannot predict the exact size of a committee sample. 
and we don't know how many correct processes are in each committee sample. So instead, we wait for W processes. And in the paper, we define W and V so that using turn of pounds, we can prove with high probability that at least W processes in each committee are correct. And at most, B processes in each committee are Byzantine. This is enough to, to ensure the progress of the shared coin. But in order to ensure the safety, we need to provide two other properties, which are the first, every two subsets in a committee of size W intersect by at least B plus one processes, meaning there is at least one correct process in the intersection. And the second property is that every two subsets in the committee of size W and B plus one intersect by at least one process. To conclude, we present the first formalization of randomly sampled committees in, using cryptography in asynchronous settings. And using this technique, we provide the first shared coin and Byzantine agreement with high probability algorithms. This algorithm works with subquadratic word complexity and a constant expected time. And that's about it. Thank you.